welcome to the video lectures on compiler design so in our previous video lectures we have seen about top down parsers and the methods as well as in bottom up parsers we have taken srp that is shift reducing as well as and in lr parsers we have completed slr parsers also so now we'll see what is clr parser as well as uh, we'll complete for the lr also so now we'll see this clr which is canonical so canonical LR parser in SLR parser we have taken LR of zero grammar that means no look ahead symbol now we require at least one look ahead we told I told you no LR of parsers are like LR of K where L means left to right scanning and R means rightmost derivation in reverse and K is the number of look aheads of course in SLR parser we have not taken any look aheads but we connected that what is that look ahead by using the concept of follow function but here we are taking the look ahead that's why here we don't want any follow function anyway we'll see that one so here lr of 1 we'll take actually lr of 1 we have to take so where k equals to 1 now we'll see what is this procedure of course somewhat similar to our slr so includes augmented production so how to include we'll see and after that uh, there we constructed lr of 0 in slr here construct lr of 1 so we'll see how to construct that lr of 1 and then construct clr parsing table and again checking for the ambiguity then checking whether the string is accepting so all those things we'll see now so i'll take an example grammar here so again i'm not taking any definitions so if we want any definitions anything you, you may refer the textbooks so here i'm directly going to the procedure so somewhat uh, uh, so how easily you can solve these problems that is what required here here let us suppose i have taken this grammar s tends to cc c tends to b c slash d of course here non terminals are s as well as uppercase c and terminals are b and d only two so now like this we have the grammar and how to do this one we'll see here how many productions are there one this is two this is three so i have written them separately like this so now what is our first step include an augmented production that is augmented grammar you have to create that means so what is the start symbol here s has to be written right hand side and what you need to do a left side you have to introduce a new non terminal which is s dash so this you need to connect now it will become an augmented grammar so now you have created augmented grammar now anyway you have to keep dots here for the extreme leftmost position on the right hand side now what is the thing you need to re you require here of course in slr parsing you don't have any look aheads but here you want look aheads so here you have to construct lr of one items no so that is what we are going to the next step so that is construct lr of one items so how to go for that means here we need to add look aheads for each production so i'll tell you how to add look ahead for each production so here one two three four productions are there i'll keep comma here like this this is comma and uh, now i need to add here a look ahead what are the look aheads now how to find of course in if you refer the text you may find something some theory part so you may understand that and based on that i'll tell you some clear picture here so now after keeping dot now you have to take the left hand side symbol of each production so anyway it will be non-terminal no? so s dash so left hand side of each production and you have to check it out is there that symbol on the right hand side and if it is there i'll tell you what to do okay so the first thing s dash is there s dash here anywhere in the right hand side of course definitely you won't find that so now what you need to do is anyway if you don't find you for initial production you just include the look ahead as dollar so i'm including here dollar just include the dollar for the initial production that is for augmented production so always you keep dollar now coming to this one what is there on the left hand side s check out is there any dot s production on the right hand side is there any yes here dot s is there remember here it is dot s now check it out what is the symbol after dot s 
what is the symbol after dot is is there any symbol no so that's why no symbol is there no so dot s is there any symbol no no symbol is there so that's why what is the look ahead here you have the same look ahead here i'm writing so dollar i'm writing for this wherever you find non terminal s once again you have to check it out what is the non terminal on the left hand side of that non terminal you have to check on the right side and now you check it out what is there after dot of that non terminal only dot of that you need to check it out okay now the next thing you can see here you can get the clarity c is there is to you check it out is there any dot c production is there any yes see here you check it out what is there after dot c do you have any symbol yes you have symbol what is that symbol c is there now whenever you find a symbol you find the first of that symbol whenever you find a symbol you find the first of that symbol if it is a terminal or non terminal whatever it may so if it is here you can see so first of this why because see you will find in the left hand side what you need to write here look ahead means you have to check that on the right hand side okay i'm checking here it is there dot c what is there after dot c some symbol is there what is that symbol c of course the same symbol so i have to find what is first of c in general what is first of c you can see what is first of c if you clear if you observe b and d you no know? so i'm writing what is first of c what is first of c here b and d you can check it out how to get the first means if you want, if you still want the clarity you can watch my previous video lectures i explained about first and follow now you can observe so for c what you need to write you have to check it out is there any dot c production yes what is the symbol after dot c is c is there what is first of c b and d that you need to write here b slash d again here also non terminal no? c so that's why again dot c is there yes so again the same thing let us suppose you here after dot c if you have s here what you need to do so for this one what you need to do for this one and this one after dot c you have a symbol s means what is what you need to do you have to find first of s what is first of s you need to find so that you need to write some other symbol is there some other let us suppose here after dot let us suppose i am writing s tends to dot c and some terminal is there plus so what you need to write after dot c plus is there what is first of plus plus only so here for c tends to you need to write only plus here also plus why because both are uh, both have left hand side as non terminals so like this we need to consider so this is what how we need to add the look ahead now after complete after completion of look ahead what you need to do you have to make this as a group and call it as i not next one after completion of i not what you need to do similar to like slr you have to scan each symbol how to scan you have to check it out here the first symbol to be scanned what is that dot s so i'll scan s so if i scan that s dash tends to s dot then anyway anyway that look ahead as it is you need to write what is there after that nothing so that's why no need to further describe is there any dot s production no so that's it so this is i call it as i1 now the next one what is that you need to scan c so now if i scan it will become s tends to dot c will become c dot c comma dollar now what is there after dot c which is a non terminal so you have to write c productions are also dot b c and c tends to dot d and don't don't copy this look ahead remember only copy the productions that means s tends to c dot c what is there after dot again non terminal you write don't write the look ahead look ahead to be generated here okay so don't write this b slash d here so now we need to generate what will be the look ahead for this one c you have to check it out for this i told you no is there any dot c production in this only don't check here is there any dot c yes here what is there after dot c nothing so that's why whatever the symbol here you have that is itself is a look ahead no so that i have to write here here also for c so that means here you can see here c after dot c you have symbol that's why you find first of c 
but here after dot see what you have nothing no symbol so that's why whatever the look ahead is the same i have to write for this also so this part remember carefully so this is i2 now the next symbol what is the next symbol to be taken dot b i'll take dot b c tends to so dot b if i scan it will become b dot c so after dot and of course i'll write the look ahead here first and after dot you have c no so non terminal i have to write what are those non terminal productions only the productions not the look aheads so now we need to generate the look aheads so check it out what is there c so what where is there any dot c production yes what is there after dot c no symbol so that's why whatever look ahead is there same i need to copy here so here you will get the same so like this so you have to understand in this to why i got dollar here why i got b by d so this is most important so like this you need to do and the final one here d is to be scanned and what is d if i scan c tends to d dot and of course the as it is now the next part so i i not is over no now i'll go to i1 is there any symbol to be scanned no i2 so i can scan dot c here so i'll scan dot c here so what it will become s tends to c dot c will become c c dot command the symbol is as it is what is there after dot no symbol that's why this is only the production that we'll get so this is i4 now the next part here you can see what you need to scan b now you can see so here after if i scan b c tends to b dot c you will get and of course the dollar now what is there after dot c is there so i'll write c productions dot b c and here's dot d now you can see what is the look ahead for these two you have to generate so i'll generate what is there c is there so what is there after dot c no symbol so that's why i have to write dollar now you can see c c tends to b dot c here also c tends to b dot c c tends to dot b c here also c tends to dot d here also but you can see the look aheads here dollar here b by d so both are not same so i cannot replace these by i3 you cannot write why because look aheads are not same so that's why this is a new item so that is i'll write it as i5 so like this you need to check it out so next symbol is d so c tends to d dot so what is the symbol look ahead dollar so now you can see c tends to d dot here also c tends to d dot but the look ahead is b by d here the look ahead is dollar so that's why this is separate production i6 now you can see the next part this one is over so now this one so what you need to scan c so it will become c tends to b c dot where the look ahead is b by d what is there after dot no symbol so that's why i'll keep as it is and this will become so we can see this is actually already here i4 is there no so this is i5 so this is i6 and now this is i7 so this one is i8 so we have repeated i4 so that's why i just made the correction so i5 i6 here i7 here i8 so the next part you can see what you need to read dot b now you can see c tends to what it will become b dot c the look ahead is b by d now dot after dot c is there so c what c tends to c productions i need to write dot b c c tends to dot d what will be the look aheads you have to check it out so c is there what is there is there any dot c production yes here what is there after dot c no no symbol that's why whatever the look ahead i have to copy 
now you can see the everything part is this same as i3 now yes you can see the productions are same b dot c c tends to b dot c c tends to b dot c look at is b by d c tends to dot b c here also b by d look at same c tends to dot d so can i write this one as i3 yes i can write so this is i3 now here you can see the next uh, scanning is d c tends to dot d will become c tends to d dot with b by d can i write it as i4 exactly equal matching including look ahead also so like this you need to do. so now i3 is over i4 there is no symbol to be scanned i5 there is no symbol to be scanned now i6 so what is to be scanned c so it will become what c tends to b c dot and dollar is there any symbol after dot no so that's why this is as it is and you can see here also c tends to b c dot b by d but this is look at is b by d here dollar even the production charge them so i cannot replace so this is a new production which i call it as i9 the next part you can see so here c tends to i have to scan b so what it will become c tends to b dot c comma dollar now what is there after dot c dot c is a non terminal so i have to derive c now what will be the look ahead for these two so you have to check it out what is there after dot c no symbol that's why dollar now you can see the entire thing is it same as i6 you can see c tends to b dot c c tends to b dot c with dollar c tends to dot b c with dollar c tends to dot d with dollar so i can replace this entire as i6 so this is i6 now the next part is d to be scanned c tends to d dot with the dollar should be the look ahead can i say it is i7 same thing no so i write here as i7 now this is over i6 i7 need to scan no next i8 c tends to b c dot over next i9 over so yeah now it is completed now you can see this much simple it is when you go for clr parser so the main highlights what you need to remember is first you need to include the augmented production after that for initial production you have to include dollar after that for each left hand side for each left hand side of the non terminal you have to check it out whether that symbol is exist on the right hand side with dot that means yes means checking is there any dot s if there is you have to check it out uh, what is the symbol after dot s if there is no symbol then whatever the previous you have that only you have to write for this one if is the symbol you have to find the first of that symbol so in the, then you can get the answer so here we have done it c is there is there any dot c here you have dot c after dot c what is the symbol c so i am finding first of c so like this you have to find it so this is what how to construct the lr of one items where lr of one items consists productions as well as look aheads whereas lr of zero items consists only productions so like this you have to construct items so this is what uh, constructing lr of one items are over so next we will see the construction of clr parsing table using this lr of one items we will see there is some difference compared with slr parsing table and uh, there no need to find fall of a non terminal where we have done it in slr parsing so without follow how to get the answer we will see so in this so we will see this one in the next video lecture thank you